is my review and unboxing for Kiwi Co's chemistry sets and I'm unboxing the Fire Lab box. Now there is a set of three boxes you can buy together for $109.95 with free shipping or there are three different or you can buy them separately. Again this is the Fire Lab. It's $34.95 and the description is Ignite chemicals and see the colors of combustion. Contains everything you need to try seven experiments exploring the chemistry of oxidation, the flame test, and light energy. Create a colorful flame lamp and spark a passion for science. Sounds really fun. It's designed for 14 years old and up. So if you have a younger budding scientist, this is definitely something you're going to want to have some adult participation in um, because some of the concepts or directions might be a little advanced for them. Uh, but if you have a teenager, this would be a great box to pick up. If they're not a big fan of chemistry, this could be a good way to teach them some of these principles in a fun and exciting way. So here's the box. My nine-year-old loves science. Just he has strong passion for science. And so he is so excited to check this um, these three boxes out. I got all three for review. Um, I've already done the unboxing for the Vortex Lab. And so I'm not sure what order these will all show up. But be on the lookout. This is the Fire Lab box. I'm going to show you the other one. This is Glow Lab. And I'm just going to show you the outer sleeve of the Vortex since I already did the unboxing. But here's the sleeve for that one. So again, buy all three together for $110 or separately. And they're all different prices. All right. Let's pull this off here. The back tells you everything in the box. There's a list here that's pretty hard to read on camera. So we'll skip that. Now the first thing you come in here, this is your guide to the entire box. It's going to give um, your child information about the science that they're learning and the steps to do these experiments and just explain everything. So this talks about combustion chemistry. Then we get just right into the experiments. The first one is fire and fuels. Um, you need a well ventilated area. Keep away from flammable materials. Keep water handy. So there's safety tips here. Steps one, it tells you exactly what to do. All the step-by-step -step instructions here. Um, we have focus on fuel, fire, and oxygen. Flame vacuum. Solid flame test. Flame test here, liquid flame test. Lots of details, as you can see. Lots of step-by-step -step instructions. Um, burning steel color burner and then it says you've completed the fire lab so lots of different things to do with just this one box so i'm going to go through here and see just to show you all the elements of this box so we have the chlorides kit here and each of these has lithium chloride um and then two more here i'm going to keep all this unboxed right now and then when it's time, we'll, I'll take pictures of everything for the written review, so be sure to check that out. I'm also going to include as many as I can, some videos or pictures of the experiments that we did. So some of this, um, just seeing all the supplies will make a little bit more sense to you so you can see it in action. We have measuring spoons, little droppers, stir sticks here, cotton swabs, some safety goggles. Each box comes with their own pair of safety goggles, so if you get all three, um, there's one for the adult and child. Methanol here, plastic container. We have lab matches. Again, this is for 14 years old and up, so um, not for the little kids by themselves. Some steel wool, some rubber gloves, some pieces of like metal sheets here, little mixing jars. This is a jar, I think, from the for the fuel and a small candle. The base of this, it's made of a really sturdy plastic and then kind of this mess mat. So lots of different things. Lots of, I mean, these are nice quality materials. They're not like a cheap cardboard thing that you would play with. I mean, this is, this is real chemistry. So this looks like a really fun box. Again, stay tuned to the very end of this. I'm going to include Here's just some pictures of all of this in action. So I probably won't have step-by-step -step videos of how I do everything just because it would be a little hard to do that and try to do the box and supervise my son at the same time. We want to be safe. Um, but definitely we'll have 
some of the finished experiments where it's, you know, the, the different color flames or, or that kind of thing. So just stay tuned. Also check out the written review because I will have more pictures there as well to get an idea of this box. But um, if you have a 14 year old, if you're looking for, this would be a great gift. You can buy now, it's on sale. And um, if you get all three boxes, it would be an excellent gift for Christmas. Something to do over the Christmas break to keep um, some of their skills going. If you have, like I said, younger kids, just be sure to supervise them. Um, you're going to be doing more of the participation in this box than maybe uh, other KiwiCo boxes. So just keep that in mind if you buy it for a younger child. This is not something they're going to be able to do completely on their own. So I'm excited to do this with my nine-year-old. He loves science, like I said, um, and it's just, he can't wait to do this. He's He's like waiting by the door, waiting for me to be done with this unboxing so we can have some fun. So all the details are going to be down below. Coupon codes. I will also have a link if you want to subscribe to KiwiCo. It'll save you 40% off your first box. And you can pick with a range of, of different boxes. But like I said, this is a one-time only box. Whether you get this box or the set of three, this is just out of their store. You're not going to get any future boxes. It's a one-time only box. So if you don't like the idea of a subscription, this is still an excellent box to pick up without having to incur monthly subscriptions. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if um, you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great All right, day. We're going to do the first experiment with fire and fuels. So the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to light this candle. Well, I'm going to light, take this match and light the candle. All right, so that is step one. Step two. Step one was to get all of the items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's step two is we're going to like this. Then we're taking this cotton. dry cotton swab and we're going to hold it to the flame and let it burn for a few seconds. Here, let me do it. There we go. All right, so there we go. The burnt swab. Wow. All right. Now what? Now. We have a really smoky We're going to move this out of the way. Not near the... Uh, and... What is it going to do, Mommy? It's going to do a triple. Alright, we have this methanol cotton swab. I'm going to dip this down here. I'm just going to pour that whole thing on. Now, we're going to carefully put this back on. This side. This that way. Now, what? now we're going to put this in the flame. What do you think is going to happen? Yes. You think it's going to burn just like the last one? Wow. Look at that. It just takes like part of the frame off. How did the top not burn? Amazing. See, there we go. Let's blow out our candle. Alright. There we go. Now, we have three of these that we burned. So, what happened to the match? It just dies like a regular match would. Yeah, it burns just like the regular match. Right? Cotton swab. Cotton swab. Just burns the top off. Because the it's cotton swab. burned. Right? And cotton burns a lot. So, when we dip this in the met methanol, what happened? It protected the white stuff, the cotton. Well, it didn't protect it. The fuel, what was the fuel on this? Remember, fire needs fuel. So, with this, the match. We had the match tip and the wood as the fuel. This one, we had the cotton and the wood as fuel. This, the fuel became the methanol. And so the fire was burning the methanol and not the cotton. Because it was burning that off. Now, if we just left it, eventually it would all burn once the fuel burned off. See? That is a cool experiment. So is that, that was experiment number one. All right, for experiment number two, we're going to light the wick. We have poured methanol here in this container here. The wick is inside of it. It's all sealed up. And then once it's lit, we're going to take this plastic container, put it right over top. Right. First. Oh, is it safe? Let's burn it down for a second. Wow. What happened? It went out. Why? 
because all the oxygen was going into that. All the oxygen, what? What happened to the oxygen? It shut off. It disappeared, right? You put this on, it trapped it in so it couldn't get any oxygen. And remember, what, what does fire need? It needs oxygen. That's one of the three things it needs. It needs fuel, heat, and mm -hmm. oxygen. So without oxygen, remember, if one of those things leaves... It goes out. It goes out. Can you do that again? So that's oh, get scary. Out, get out, get out. All right, so for this next experiment, we have a lit candle that we have let burn for several minutes, over five minutes. It says five, but we did it for a few more because it wasn't melted. We're gonna coat this cotton swab in wax. We're gonna dip it in lithium chloride, and it's then great. we're going to put it in the fire and see what color the fire changes it's to. It's green. All right. And green. All right. So we're gonna dip it in here, roll it around. So you think it's gonna turn green? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because the top is green. <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea. It's red, actually. I was wrong. No, it's purple. All right. All right. So for this next experiment, we've already done lithium chloride, um, and now we're going to do copper chloride. I have been the burning this little candle over here for several minutes and, and what you do is you just coat the, the cotton part in wax carefully not to light it on fire and then we're going to dip it into the copper chloride right here we're going to coat it before the wax dries and now we're going to put it in the fire for five seconds and we're going to see what color the flames turn cool. do that again more 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 well, cool. turn green. So the next one we're going to do is strontium chloride. It's clear. I'm going to take our cotton swab. All right. All right. So we're coating the next one in wax. We're going to dip it in strontium chloride. And then we're going to see what color the flames turn. So we've had red, green. What do you think this one is? Purple. Red. Red, green. Yellow, blue. Turn red. All right, so for the last part, we took the steel wool, took a little bit off, stretched it out, made a little bowl using um, this plastic piece as the mold here. There we go. And we're gonna light it on fire and we're gonna see how fast it burns. Burns pretty quick. What do you think? Imagine not having it on your hand. That would hurt. So what what three things does the fire have right now? Heat. Fuel. And air. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Burned. We're another way through. Okay. Okay. Can we go more?